Considering a professional opportunity in the Czech Republic? Here's what you need to know about obtaining a work visa, specifically the employee card. Do I need a visa to work in the Czech Republic? If you're not an EU slash EEA slash Swiss citizen, you'll need both a visa and an employee card to work in the Czech Republic, even if your employment duration is less than 90 days. EU slash EEA slash Swiss citizens can work in the Czech Republic without restrictions. Types of Czech Republic work permits. Employee card. It is valid for long-term stays. It is specific to a job and employer. It is valid for two years, extendable based on circumstances. It functions like an ID card with biometric features. EU Blue Card. It is issued to non-EU citizens with higher professional or educational qualifications. It requires a job offer from a Czech employer. It is valid for two years, renewable. Also, it is not needed for EU slash EEA slash Swiss citizens and their family members. Intra-company transferee card. It allows foreign citizens to transfer their work to the Czech Republic. It must have higher positions like manager or specialist for three years, or as an employed intern for one year. Looking for job opportunities in the Czech Republic? Various sectors are welcoming foreign professionals including administrative, finance, engineering, healthcare, pharmacy, HR, IT tech, marketing, production, real estate, construction and sales. Find application links in the video description below. How to apply. To work in the Czech Republic, follow these general steps. Secure a job offer from a Czech employer. Apply for the relevant work permit, such as the employee card. Make sure to check the specific requirements for each type of permit. Embarking on a professional journey to the Czech Republic? Navigating the application process for a Czech Republic work visa involves several crucial steps. Let's break it down. Applying for a Czech Republic work visa. Set up an appointment with the Czech Embassy. Reach out to the nearest Czech Embassy in your country to schedule an appointment for your visa application. Submission of documents and visa interview. Provide all necessary documents at the Embassy, where you'll also undergo a visa interview. Expect questions about the purpose and duration of your stay, accommodation arrangements and more. Ministry of Interior Review The Czech Embassy forwards your application to the Ministry of Interior MOI, for review. Upon MOI approval, you'll receive a long-stay visa, allowing you to travel to the Czech Republic to collect the coveted employee card. Collecting the employee card in the Czech Republic Within three working days of arrival, visit an MOI office to report your stay and provide biometric data. Obtain your work permit employee card, enabling a one-year stay and work in the Czech Republic. Applying for a work permit from inside the Czech Republic. Submission of application to the Ministry of Interior. Submit the application form along with required documents in person to the Ministry of Interior. Ensure all documents are submitted on your appointment day. Await Ministry of Interior's response. The Ministry of Interior will respond to your work permit application within 90 days. Collect the employee card. Upon approval, collect your employee card at the MOI, signaling your readiness to commence work. In this part of the video we'll be looking at the processing time for a Czech Republic work visa. It's important to plan ahead, as the processing time can range from 30 to 60 days, starting from the day you submit your application to the Czech Embassy. To ensure you allow enough time for your visa to be processed, it's a smart move to apply at least 45 days before your intended travel date. This will give you ample time to make any necessary adjustments or handle any unforeseen complications. Remember, this is a general guideline and processing times can vary, so it's always best to start the application process as soon as possible. In this segment, we'll be discussing the key documents required for a Czech Republic work visa. First and foremost, you need a passport that is valid for at least three months beyond your return date, and it needs to have two blank pages. You will also need two recent passport size photos taken within the last six months. A health insurance coverage for a long-term duration is essential, as is biometric data, specifically your fingerprints. Another crucial document is your work contract or agreement which needs to specify your salary and working hours. You will also need to provide proof of your personal qualifications, such as your educational credentials. A clean criminal record is a must, so you will need to provide proof of this as well. Lastly, a medical report from the Ministry of Health confirming your good health is required. Remember, these are the basic requirements. Depending on your specific situation, you may need additional documents, so it's always advisable to check with the Czech Embassy or consulate in your home country. In the next scene, we will discuss what to do in case your application gets rejected.
In this portion of the video, we will discuss the financial aspect of applying for a Czech Republic work visa. The standard fee for the visa is CZK 2500, which is approximately Euro 102. This amount is payable after you've completed and submitted your application form at the embassy or consulate. Please note that this fee is non-refundable even if your application gets rejected. Therefore, it's essential to ensure that all your documents are correctly filled out and meet all the requirements to increase your chances of approval. In the next scene, we will discuss what to do if your application gets rejected, so stay tuned. In this segment of our guide, we'll discuss what to do if your Czech Republic work visa application gets rejected. It's important to remember that a rejection is not the end of your journey. It's merely a bump in the road. If you receive a rejection, you will be given an explanation as to why. This is valuable information, as it will help you to correct any mistakes and improve your application for the next time. You can reapply as soon as you feel your application has been improved based on the feedback received. Keep in mind that you will need to pay the application fee again. Remember, persistence and meticulousness are key in this process. In the next scene we will wrap up our guide, so stay tuned. Navigating this process with precision is crucial for a smooth transition into your professional endeavor in the Czech Republic. If you found this information valuable, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. For detailed application links and more insights, check the video description below. Stay informed and best of luck with your Czech Republic work visa application.